Hello, my name is Brooks Gentry. I'm in the Department of Anesthesiology here at UAMS. Uh, I have been working for many years with Dr. Michael Owens in the development of new medications for the treatment of drug abuse. Uh, I want to thank you for the opportunity to speak today about our research and I uh, hope to uh, relate to you some of the excitement that we have about the work that we're doing. The problem that we're addressing right now is, is the one of drug abuse, and in particular, that of methamphetamine and related stimulant abuse. This remains a significant epidemic in the United States and abroad. Methamphetamine abuse causes significant social, medical, and economic problems, and if you've read the paper at all, you will understand that this is a pervasive difficulty across the country and across the world. At this point, there are no medications available to treat methamphetamine abuse or, in, indeed, many of the stimulants of drug abuse. We have developed some new medications for the treatment of methamphetamine abuse, and these are essentially naturally occurring molecules. These are antibodies, and I'll tell you a little more about them in a minute as we go forward. Our new medications essentially grab and hold these drugs of abuse, particularly methamphetamine, in the bloodstream and neutralize its adverse effects. All of the bad things that it can do, our medications will prevent. Our new medications are essentially based on the body's natural immune system, just like your own antibodies that you develop to, uh, to fight and protect you against bacteria and viruses. The good part about our medications is that they only bind the drug of abuse that they target. They do not bind any other normally occurring molecule in the body, and this makes them very safe. So why do I study this? What, what got me started in this? Well, I've had the great good fortune of having some very superb and supportive mentors through, through my career, in particular during my anesthesia training. And you say, why does an anesthesiologist study drugs of abuse? Well, believe it or not, anesthetics move through the body very similarly to how drugs of abuse move through the body. And I studied this after my res residency. When I came back to Arkansas in 1994, I began discussions with Dr. Owens, and we found out that we have very complementary skill sets. He had been working in this area for many years before I got here, and we realized that we could develop a very strong collaboration and make this development progress uh, go much faster. We very much have a common interest in developing medications that will make a difference to people in Arkansas, in the United States, and in the world. Furthermore, another reason that, that I began studying this particular problem is for methamphetamine, it's a problem that's very, very close to home. In 1998, when we were first funded to start these particular studies, Arkansas was number one in the country in per capita number of methamphetamine labs. That was a very significant problem to us. And, and we saw that these problems were, were here, and we thought with our medications we could make a real difference in, um, in social and economic and medical outcomes for people who use drugs. At that time, it was also becoming a real substantial national medical problem too. And so NIH and others put a lot of money into developing these new medications and into programs that would allow people to develop new medications. Unfortunately, over those years, there are still no medications to treat methamphetamine abuse. That is, there are no medications that are specific for the problems related to methamphetamine abuse. So our interest has only grown over the years to in, in developing these new medications. Currently, there are some therapies that are somewhat effective for the treatment of drug abuse. They're basically cognitive behavioral therapy or talk therapy, psychotherapy. These types of approaches help users learn new coping mechanisms while they're trying to get off the drugs. And in some cases, they are effective. There are some medications that are available that can help with this, but none, again, are specific for methamphetamine. And there has been a lot of hit or miss in the development of these types of medications. Similarly, for the treatment of overdose of these methamphetamine in particular, treatment is only supportive. You can only support and allow and keep the blood pressure from going too high or keep the seizures from happening too often if you have an overdose of methamphetamine. And these, the medications that we have do mask the symptoms and can improve outcome a little bit, but they do not remove the harmful drug from the sites of action in the brain, where it is a toxin and can cause continuous problems if you don't remove it from the brain. Our medications have the potential 
to remove the toxic effects of methamphetamine and its related uh, and other related stimulants. So how do our medications work? Well, this cartoon shows basically a picture of blood vessels in the brain and nerves in the brain. This is a blow up, a magnification of what your brain might look like. The little yellow dots are all molecules of methamphetamine and you can see that after a dose of methamphetamine, these molecules rapidly cross into the nerves from the bloodstream and cause its negative effects. Our medication shown here as little these Y-shaped structures actually bind the methamphetamine and keep it in the bloodstream and therefore keep it out of the brain and keep it out of the sites where it causes its negative effects. And so, and our medications have been shown in a number of, of animal models already to be very effective at reducing brain concentrations of methamphetamine. Essentially, the, our medicines take the uh, methamphetamine to other sites in the body where it's eliminated naturally and it does not cause any further problem. So this is, in general, how our medicines work. What will we use our medicines for when we finally get them into humans? Well, one, we can help users from relapsing when they go into treatment. What our medicines essentially do, we think, is that they will prevent the high that people have when they take drugs of abuse like methamphetamine. In so doing, if you can keep users from getting high, even when they try to use drugs, you can keep them in treatment longer. The longer you keep them in treatment, the greater your chances of success are. Similarly for overdose, our medications will work by removing the offending agent, in this case methamphetamine, from its sites of action in the brain. There are no current medications, again, to do this. Currently, where are we in our, in our progress toward the development of these new medications? One, we have done many years' worth of animal work, and these studies have shown that there is a great promise for our medications. We've shown it in a variety of effects on the brain, on the blood vessels, on the bloodstream. We've shown exactly how these medicines will work to reduce the amount of methamphetamine in the brain and other organs in the body. We are currently producing forms of these medications that will be suitable for administration to humans. As a matter of fact, we have a, a production partner who is in the process of making the first group of medicines right now. We're also in the process of finishing the testing, the development of the medications in a formulation that's suitable for human use, and with the contractual arrangements that we'll need to move forward to get these medicines onto the market. For instance, we have already developed the approval process path with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. We have already been to see the officials at FDA, and so far they have been very supportive and very helpful in, uh, in our process of developing these, these new medications for the treatment of drug abuse. So what's next? We're actually able to talk now about beginning human studies. Uh, some new opportunities have just come out over, literally over the past two weeks that will allow us to apply for the necessary funding to perform the hu first human trials of these medications. We anticipate that these trials could start in late 2011 or in early 2012. That is a very rapid time frame for us, and we're very excited about these, this possibility. We do not yet have this funding, but we have the opportunity to apply for it, and we feel like we will be very competitive in the opportunity to, to get these funding, this funding. Our goal remains, and will remain, that we want to develop new medications for the treatment of drug abuse, particularly for methamphetamine and for related stimulants. We feel like we've made a tremendous amount of progress in this area over the past 16 years, but we will not stop until we get these new medications out on the market.